What could be a pivotal day in the trial of neighborhood watchman George Zimmerman, accused of murdering Trayvon Martin and Martin's mother today, taking the stand, saying the voice in that 911 call screaming for help was her son. The prosecution then resting its case, and then right afterward, the defense demanding an acquittal. What did the judge do? ABC's Matt Gutman is in Sanford, Florida, at the Zimmerman trial for us again tonight. It was the emotional crescendo of two weeks of testimony. So you think he's yelling help? Yes. Two mothers on the stand, each claiming to hear their own son in these screams. The grieving mother of Trayvon yes. Martin. And who do you recognize that to be, man? Trayvon Benjamin Martin. And George Zimmerman's yes. mother. And whose voice was that? My son, George. It symbolized two weeks of seesaw proceedings. The prosecution beginning its case with a head snapping opening statement. Pumps. These they always get away. Prosecutors hammering at Zimmerman's credibility, catching him in inconsistencies. There are two people involved here. One of them's dead and one of them's a liar. But the prosecution's case seemingly undercut by several of its own witnesses, whose testimony appeared to help the defense. The eyewitness who saw Martin on top of Zimmerman that night. And he was the one who was raining blows down on the person on the bottom, George Zimmerman, right? That's what it looked like. The lead investigator called by the prosecution, indicating he believed Zimmerman's inconsistencies were minimal. Was there anything else in this case where you got the insight that he might be a pathological liar? No. And the medical examiner whose testimony today contradicted earlier statements he'd made about the case. After the prosecution wrapped, the defense said the case is so weak it demanded the judge throw it out. What is before the court is an enormous amount of information that my client acted in necessary self-defense. Now, David, the defense says it could wrap its case by the middle of next week. The big question, will George Zimmerman take the stand? He's the only person to have seen the start of the fight and its end. I spoke to his attorney, Mark O'Mara. He says it's not likely.